There we go. There we go. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker 6'9 looking 5'4. Damn, boy. Covering his whole feet. He looked like he got socks on. <laughs> Fucking took that shit out of Steve Harvey's closet looking ass, boy. That's crazy, dog. Why? <laughs> what year was that? Oh my God, who's this? Yeah, so it reminds Kyrie's me. Kyrie's Ops. It, it reminds me of Nathan. Yeah, he is a Jew. <laughs> It reminds me of uh, Nathan Fielder in this episode where he's for Nathan for you, but yeah, just like that. He oh. has like a wrong person's luggage. And- <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. You're listening to the Gather Step. Gather Step. Gather Step. Gather Step. Gather Step podcast featuring Trill Gene and Bait Boom Wall. Sir. Yes, sir. I've been, I've been watching like. Whoa. I've been watching hella Desperate Housewives and Love Island USA. <laughs> Wait, let's go back to Desperate Housewives. Like early first season? Uh, we're on the second season now when, uh, you know, they start integrating others and the just Gardner? white people. No, the Gardner was season first? one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Season two, he's in jail. Not the Gardner, uh, his, her husband. Oh. But it's just crazy. Like, damn, she was, she was straight up like having an affair with a high school kid and it just like was on TV like she never even faced jail time you know? that's ungodly man yeah nah I used to watch uh, I don't wa- didn't watch that but back then Eva Longoria was like the hit yeah. girl so yeah. like yeah bro and then she was dating Tony Parker for a little bit remember that yeah so everyone didn't knew. T- but was Tony Parker fucking his teammates girlfriends while he was with Eva Longoria yeah bro that's how the French do it yeah. It's called Manage <laughs> Toi. Never trust the fuck. I think Anthony Edwards hates uh, Rudy Gobert because he's French. Why? Just because he's, he's French? French. <laughs> yeah. Anthony Edwards probably has a couple prejudices. Just Anthony not going to lie. Yeah, Anthony. <laughs> probably has a, a couple. We've seen the we've video. We've seen bro. one. Yeah, we've seen it. The ho- uh, hetero. No, no the like, homosexuality. Yeah, he was like. What do you say? The Q word? You call them the Q word? They call them the F word. No, it wasn't that bad. Oh, really? Yeah, it was just the Q word. Oh, okay. Yeah. No word near as bad. <laughs> it's like Shout there's out. tears. Shout out to Kermit, man. And then like he was like, his apology speech was so funny because he was like trying not to laugh. Yeah, he was cracking up. <laughs> That's the most insincere you could oh, you could be. Yeah, he's yeah. just a young dude, man. I yeah. think he's just fooling around, bro. Yo- Jokic is no homo shit. Was oh god damn dog. He said that the ho- the no homo. Yeah, yeah. You never seen that in an interview? Yeah. Damn, we gotta pull that up sometime. Yeah, we'll pull it up next time. But basically, yeah, it was like they're asking him about. I want to say Rudy Gobert or someone. Okay. And he's like, no homo, he's longer than you expect. <laughs> like, I think I've seen that. Yeah, I think I've seen He got fined from the NBA for that. Was this recent though? No, this is like two years, two, three years ago. Probably. That's pretty three recent. Years. I mean, he's only been in the league for, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're back guys. It's episode Euro. seven. No, episode eight. Episode eight. We're episode mm-hmm. eight. Number eight. And it's uh, November 11th today, and uh, we have our our jerseys on. I'm I'm rocking the Luka Doncic from my brother, Simon, and how about we just go around and explain what we're wearing? Yeah, I got the Nene, uh, old school. Is that a champion? Huh? Is that a champion jersey? No, Adidas. Adidas. Yeah. I like it. Um, yeah, I, I came about this jersey um, when I was a child because... It was right after Melo got traded, and Gallinari came in, and I got, like, through my stepdad, because he had, like, a thing with work, uh, with waste management, and they gave away tickets and stuff all the time, Um, and they gave away some, it was like a meet and greet uh, at the bar that's at Pepsi Center at the time. Um, Meet and greet at the bar? Yeah, with... Danilo Gallinari, and we got Damn. to ask him questions, and we I won this in a raffle there. What would you ask him? I asked him what he thinks the – so this is really funny because it was like the – I mean, I think I was – I don't know how old I was, honestly, but I was like, you know, what do you think the Knicks are going to do now? And then he was like, honestly, I don't give a freaking shit. He said that? Yeah. <laughs> to you? How old were you? I was a little kid, was, but it was like a joking. We oh. were, everybody was laughing. He was like, I don't give a freaking shit what they do. <laughs> this is the Nuggets. 
I'm Damn, with the that's Nuggets. Funny. That's funny. That's funny. Yeah. Okay. Shout out Danilo. Gallinari. Yeah. Except uh, also fuck Danilo Gallinari because my girlfriend worked at Dave and Buster's. He came in, didn't tip. So. Damn. Well, he thought it was Europe or something. He thought yeah, it was Italy, it's huh? that, that European yeah. thought process. Yeah, he forgot. Yeah. You got a tip though, bro. You're in you're in America. You got a tip. Yeah. Fucking guy. But yeah, this is signed. Okay. So it's pretty cool. Shout out to Nene. Shout out to all the Brazilians and shout out to Nene. All the Brazilians watching. Yeah, shout out and to listening. you. Hola. Hell yeah. Nah, that's Spanish. <laughs> Go it's ahead. close enough, Portuguese. Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> oh well. You didn't clarify basketball jersey. Mm-hmm. We did. So I have a uh, the only one of two sports jerseys that I own. This is a Peter Forsberg jersey. Peter Forsberg. Yeah. It is supposedly signed. Oh. Um. So I got it off eBay. Mm. There was it was like a local pickup thing. So freshman year of college, I drove, I rode my bike, went on the light rail, all the way down South Tech Center. Rode my bike from there all the way to this like King Supers parking lot. Picked it up there. Um, I paid seventy nine bucks for an actual jersey. Nice, Signed. hell of a deal. So, but what the guy said, so he was like, "Ah, oh, yeah, this guy he works at the Pepsi Center. He gets a bunch of random merch, yeah, signed mm. all the time." He's like, "There's no certificate of authenticity, but you know, it's probably signed." That's and how you got it for cheaper, though. Yeah, I mean, either way, I don't care. It was a cheap jersey. Yeah. Starter too, man. Star mm-hmm. shout out starter. Yeah. I used to wear a lot of starter. Starter I cap. I don't think I ever wore starter. You never had the starter puff puff jacket? No. Nuggets? No. Uh it was you know, if I was gonna wear like cheap basketball shorts or something, it was always and one for me. Yeah, the past the leg close to yeah. the heel <laughs> to the ankle. So that's the shit if if they just roll them up a little bit, that's the shit Josh Primo was wearing. Damn, man. Josh Primo, man. Loose as hell, Can't baggy. Be, but were you free balling like Primo? No. Nah. You, just, you cannot you in tight. those, man. That is like, yeah. it's like wearing a short mini skirt with no panties on. <laughs> it's just, you're not, you're in trouble, bro. No matter what. Yeah, bro. My middle school, the kids used to wear like and one stuff or mm-hmm. just like baggy shorts in general. Then like there was a phase where dudes would just act real sus and try to pants each other. Mm. And one time this kid got pants and it just all dick and balls hanging out. <laughs> it was very foul. I saw a pants video the, uh, this week where he got pants and his Glock fell out. <laughs> <laughs> Have both dicks on the floor, man. <laughs> both <laughs> the blicky both and the dicky. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're wearing jerseys because NBA teams came out with the new city jerseys. Obviously, if you like, we'll we'll go over them here in a little bit. But um, we want to start off by pretty much, you know, pointing out how we've been ahead of every trend uh, in the basketball world so far on the podcast. It's fucking ridiculous, man. We, even Slept even on. so there's some things that we're not even gonna bring up that but i want to say that even the week before the kyrie irving situation yeah i told i talked about kyrie irving and i was like i was basically like supporting him saying he should be able to say whatever the fuck he wants to say yeah and then he came out and did some other shit well dog yeah. mem- remember whenever we were talking about just our tier list i think that was our second episode and I was like, yeah, I got a homie Elton that loves Kyrie. And then mm-hmm. we all both were like, if when he plays, you know, and we kind of like foresaw that maybe he wasn't going to play again this year. And look, boom, what happened, man? Yeah, that one was pretty, that's pretty predictable. Yeah. So one way or another, he's not going to play. Yeah, yeah man. He's... All 82 games. But yeah, I mean, so today uh, we want to kind of go into this one tweet that we have, have up. And, uh, you know, I guess... Midterm elections are kind of something that has been going on. So this is, you know, essentially been on the ballot, right? When we're talking about uh, who we're voting in, who we're voting out. And uh, Sonia Curry, Steph's, Steph's mom, said that she almost had an abortion while uh, pregnant with, with, with Steph Curry. And I'm guessing she's uh, really fighting for pro-life here. What do you think? I mean, they're a Christian family, right? They are a Christian family. And they're saying, hey, the greatest shooter alive. <laughs> But it never been born. Yeah, so let's take a look you at motherfuckers. Let's take a look at the first comment. Yeah. Um it's, go ahead, babe. Go ahead and yeah, tell them what's going on here. I remember telling Sonia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go don't ahead, get, LeBron. Don't get the abortion. <laughs> 
This kid will be the best shooter the NBA has ever seen. <laughs> you can ask all my teammates. I told her that. <laughs> yeah, man. And so this is something that we showed maybe like a couple of weeks back. Where yeah, LeBron we're is really Le- pointing out before his- anyone got on to LeBron about Malcolm X, before anyone got on LeBron about really lying. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, we saw the thread, but we really pushed that narrative. And now people are making memes out of it. Yeah, now it's a big thing. It's a big thing because um, it was it was like kind of more inclusive to like a select group that were making fun of LeBron for lying. Yeah, but now it's like everybody's making fun of it. Now they got headlines on fucking. I was looking at like news websites was like is lebron lying about this and then they got confirmations on youtube of lebron lying like it blew up and you know it's probably because of us yeah and i think we should definitely uh don't let lebron off the hook guys no. okay this meme will probably be hot for a month but we got to keep it going you know yeah. we got to keep it going we got to keep calling keep, him out keep your eyes out yeah he's gonna keep he's gonna keep bullshitting he's gonna keep saying some shit that he does not have any idea what he's talking about i mean shoot man what else has lebron been bullshitting about uh that he only sleeps with his wife <laughs> <laughs> you dirty uh, ass boy yeah we, it's that another, acre in hey him. man this is another thing we predicted we said he was on my he was on my cheaters list yeah let's take a look and it was because he's a pathological liar but yeah we got another we got another tweet here's him with a white woman all smiles. Biggest oh. smile I've ever seen. I've never seen LeBron smile like that. For real? Never, ever. Him and his wife right there, frowned up. He's pissed. Not happy being there. <laughs> yeah, he looked like he, he, they just had an argument, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I don't know, man. LeBron, bro, you don't really show teeth, but man, he was cheese. Yeah, man. he rarely... Like, the arm around, too? You're not even doing the Keanu where you're just like floating? You're yeah. full on like grabbing... Full, and he's like around, like yeah, into... The bosom. Savannah, you better check your man. Yeah. But what, what you were, you pointed out something that was like, why are they dressed like that? Yeah. I don't man. know who this lady is. <laughs> she probably is fucking famous. Though. I don't know. It looks like they're maybe doing hot yoga or something like that. Yeah. Uh, but I, I don't want to draw conclusions. But one conclusion I, I would draw is, I mean, if I took a photo like that, I'd probably be in trouble. Yeah. You know, with For my sure. wife. If I was doing all that, I like, yeah. I, I'm not putting I mean, my hands a, like on anyone he, like that. He is. He probably does take so many photos a day though. But yeah, but you, this got out for a reason. Yeah. It's because you're smiling your ass off, dog. Uh, LeBron, see this. <laughs> if this is, doesn't tell me that he's not a cheater, I don't know what. Yeah. Like <laughs> we just, yeah, we just bullshit. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, got to call him out for his shit. Yeah. But yeah. Um. Got the jerseys. We're going to talk about the bullshit ranking uh, USA Today put together of the 29 new NBA City Edition jerseys. This list is garbage. Let's go through them. Yeah. Sneep, what do you think about this first one? They're saying it's number one. It's number one, <laughs> this man. Is, Wait, this is like ranked in popularity? Yeah. Well, this is what USA Today said. Yes, yeah, number one. God damn. And they said, take the prize. Take the prize. And this is what the best was. Uh, it's designed in collaboration with Big Sean. Uh, that's why it's so ass. Dude, Pam, my terrible. wife hates Big Sean. Yeah, terrible. he's like the worst rapper. I hate Big Sean. What too. were you saying, Steve? It's just terrible. It's not really. What is the three three stars on the top? Like, what? Well, because they're they're paying tribute to Saint Cecilia's, a local gym where stars like Jalen Rose, Isaiah Thomas, and others cut their teeth. The Saint is a place for refuge for local kids. Whatever. We don't care. Okay? We do not care. This is we're 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 going for aesthetics here. We're looking for the best looking yeah, jersey. Bro. I don't care about the story of Detroit. Y'all a bunch of scammers out there. Like let's yeah, y'all not so, let's not pretend like y'all are innocent. I mean, it is just so plain and like it yeah, I guess the D is different. Kind of reminds me of like the Dodgers D in like and the yeah. the color reminds me of Dallas, like when they had the the green. Yeah, it's just nah. No boy, no. You gotta pick a different color yeah. too. Like it can't be exactly the same. I don't fuck with that. Number two, uh, Pooks. Pooks. This is the abbreviation Pudux. for their fucking airport. Yeah, I was gonna say, is this what the airport employees wear? Yeah, that's literally it's what fucking... I type in when I go to Google <laughs> Flights. I type in yeah. DIA to PDX. Yeah, I don't. I don't get it. I don't know why they ranked it number two. That's bullshit. It's not even their colors. It's like, it's not even a play on their history of colors. 
Like it's just, oh, here's a new fucking color for our city edition that's supposed to represent our city. Yeah. Okay, so red doesn't represent your city even though it has for fucking years. Well, what, what's crazy is I, my wife is from Portland, so I visit Portland pretty frequently, and there's a welcome to Portland sign with reindeer on it that that's kind of like your logo that's written in red. It should have been something around that instead of this. Mm. This has no relevancy. Yeah. I mean, this is essentially just saying like, hey, come to Portland. We have an airport. Yeah. Yeah. We what got is an airport? What is that steel looking like? Well, scroll, scroll down. Let's see. Yeah, let's let's see what they have to say. Oh, the it teal's, is the airport. Uh, the carpet at the PDX airport. It's, 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 the, it's the airport. It's that's literally, literally. That's it. I didn't know. Yeah. That's literally what they're saying is that yep, it's the we got an airport, baby. Rip city carpet. Oh God! And yeah, that's, that's too. That's, that's terrible. Someone paid this list. Memphis. Uh, it's kind of. I mean, it's okay. I like the. I like the the letters. It's kind of like Vancouverish. Yeah, I think they should have really like gone well, for the Vancouver. No, I think they should have really did the whole like hustle and flow like. Hey, what up, man? And made that shit gold, oh, yeah. you know. And I would have made like a what chain, up, man? you know. <laughs> you know, it, the Memphis would have been like a chain. You yeah, know what I'm saying oh, they that would just, be dope. They I mean, just went in. Did like the neck thing, but yeah. like it's got a medallion. Yeah, and does it look like out? the side? The side right here is kind of a. Chain, yeah, what? The, let's look. Let's look at that. What's the uh, the side of it? Let's. If you go down, what what does it yeah, even say on the they, ca- oh, hey, three six hip mafia heritage? Yeah, three six mafia. Young Dolph, man. Yeah. There's a gold grill in the shape of bear fangs. Oh, it's a gold grill. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess I like I, it. I guess it's getting better. You know, it's getting better. Okay. Yeah, that would I have don't. been a better number one. Yeah. Yeah. This should have been last. <laughs> Look at it. Hold on. Yeah. Oh wait, what are That's we doing? not even. It's okay. Just, <laughs> yeah, it's just a tweet. Yeah, I just saw Los just, Angeles. Just, okay, next. <laughs> Chicago. That's what the fuck is this? As fuck, man. So boring. It's just. It just looks like it's a just, Chicago just, Bulls. It's jersey. just a regular Chicago Bulls jersey. Chicago Bulls are the highest selling like merch, but this of any sports team like in the U.S. Really? I think so. Wow. And it's ridiculous. It's just a bunch of studs, you know. <laughs> this one's rocking the Bulls Motorola yeah. from Chirac. Yeah, the studs love to wear the Bulls hat and the bunch of BGs. <laughs> <laughs> Free BG. <laughs> Got you, yeah. girl. Motorola. Uh, I right. love my Motorola. San Antonio. I love this one. Now, this is a good one. Okay, this one's so fun. I'm not sure. Is this have to do anything with Taco Cabana? I don't know. Let's you have look. To scroll down. Because Taco Cabana, I think, had the same. Okay, no. I think it's just nothing. throwback to, to the All Star game. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think it's cool. I like the font being a little different. I it just, nice. I, I think you got to be, we got to move away from this minimalist bullshit yeah. in the jerseys. We got to just go, go in, back bro. to going crazy. Yeah, go in. We can keep going. Let's see. Oh, yeah. God, it just looks like another OKC jersey. If yeah, you ask me. I mean, it's. Uh, the colors are cool, but you know what would be sick if they just kept this, but the sides right there were actually red velvet. Oh, that'd be kind of like a little. They have, they have the best tour. uh sponsor. Loves, loves gas station. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's, that shit is. That's just a cool ass logo. Yeah, loves. Yeah. All right, I'm going to the next one. That's number six, according to them. Clippers. Now you had you knew yeah. what this one was referencing. Yeah. So shout out AB. We we're talking about this in the barber shop. Uh, my barber is from LA, and he's very familiar with the Watts Tower and how it's made of stained glass. And I think this is an homage to that. Mm-hmm. The background behind the Los Angeles print. Yeah. That's we'll good. There. Do we know That's what a clipper cool. is? Nah. It sounds racist as fuck, though. <laughs> you. It's like that. It's like that. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur Don't said it. it. Arthur said it. Not me. I'm not a clipper. <laughs> clipper, <laughs> clipper. <laughs> I'm not a clipper. Yeah. Atlanta, they could have gone further with this for sure. Yeah, what is this? Was this supposed to be eight. peach basket or something? Or like oh yeah, this is something? this. I also want to say we should describe a little bit more of what's going. On. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, we got to provide better alt text to the vision impaired and yeah. those that are uh, joining. Audio. Go ahead, Sneep. Give us give us the SEO alt text of what's going on here for the <laughs> yeah. people listening. Uh, black jersey. You got some orange stripes down the sides. Mm-hmm. Then you got the numbers that fade. 
You got, it is you got a little gradient yeah. there yeah. going on. Reminds me of like an orange like a cream peach. soda. Reminds me of soda. gamerlighting.com. Oh. Yeah. 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 What's like, the URL? You know, the fading. Uh, gamerlighting.com. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's great. Shout <laughs> out. They have great Our lights. sponsor, they gamerlighting.com. Go um, get your LEDs. I feel like the text is a little, I don't know. I'm getting some, some magic city vibes. Oh, okay. With the, okay. With the, yeah. the type of font. Well, let's see. Let's, let's see what they, what they say about it. See if it's referencing magic city. Oh, oh peach tree street Atlanta. homage. So peach tree, peach tree street. Damn, that's a that's a mouthful. Peachtree Street, Peachtree Street. Oh, it, that it totally is Donald is. Glover. Is. That's what it I was the, thinking. It was like Atlanta. Yeah. That looks like that, is that logo. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I never agree. watched. Is it? A I good guess show? it's a. Yeah, it's a great. Yeah, show. it's really show. funny. Like Y'all watched all the seasons? No, no. <laughs> I've watched. I've watched clips. <laughs> I'm behind. There's man. there's like Shit. one that was like it was like a gay guy in <laughs> in prison. It was like really funny. That's about all I know. Okay. Philadelphia is a brother city of brotherly love. Uh, in like cursive, kind of red. I I think it's yeah, red, blue, white, white crypto dot com, red stripe, white jersey, uh-huh. perfect alt text. This is the most like city of any. I think this is so the far. one that like most people will probably understand yeah. what the hell is going on. Yeah, because the other ones are like, oh, only locals will get this. Like nobody fucking cares about you, your locals. And how popular is that phrase, the city of brotherly love, too? It's right? pretty, pretty so damn properly. Pop, properly. <laughs> properly. Properly. I, I, I knew that Proper? shit. I knew that shit because I, I had a book oh. uh, full of NBA player pictures that was like dunking and all this shit when I was a kid. Really? And there was one that was just Allen Iverson like with a bunch of chains on it. It was like from the city of brotherly love. Oh, that's I was how like, you okay, learned that. That's, okay. that's I learned almost everything Aren't from they basketball. Also, wait, no, that's Chicago. Sorry. I was going to say that's Windy, Windy city. city. Yeah. Cleveland. The land. The land of the Clee. Cliffs. What the fuck? Ain't that? as deep as some others, but it's peaceful. So there's like literally no. Okay. A touch of blue for Lake Erie. Okay. I I guess. So this jersey is just white and it's gold. It says the land. This is Cleveland's uh, city edition. Uh, they have a shit sponsorship. Why what the is land? Cle- like Cleveland, I guess. The land. Cleveland. Cleveland. Play on Look Cleveland. outside. It's just factories. <laughs> <laughs> what is Cliffs? Do y'all know what Cliffs is no. as the business? No. Okay. Well, yeah. irrelevant. Well, then you didn't do a good job spending your money, did you? Yeah. I have no idea who you are. You spent all this money. Don't really want to look it up. Yeah. Pelicans. I feel like they've worn this jersey they before. They need to extend their creativity, right? They need to stop going back to just this. It is just purple jersey, a purple, green, yellow stripe down Mardi the middle. Gras. Yeah. Look, you have Zion on your team. Avoid the vertical stripes. <laughs> I mean, the horizontal stripes. All right. <laughs> was it the first episode where you kept beating around the bush and saying that yeah. Zion was fat? Yeah, no, he's not fat. <laughs> but if you want to make him appear even less fat, avoid the get the, avoid ho- the, get the Orlando stripes. horizontal stripes. Yeah, pinstripes. And Nola, like, bro, I, I don't know. I feel like the Saints perfectly, like, represent the city. Yeah. But the Pelicans? What is a Pelican? It's or I mean, fucking, I know it's a bird. It's a bird. It's an ex- no, it's not extinct, but it's a bird. It's a seabird. It's like, come up with something better, man. Yeah. Like the fucking New Orleans Cajuns. Crazy. Yeah. The crazy Cajuns. Or the, the uh, Gators. Yeah. The, the, the Gators. The Gators. Remember yeah. that guy that we watch on TikTok where he's like, yeah. put in the onion, oh, baby. Yeah. Put it on a cracker. <laughs> put that on a cracker, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. What do you think, Steve? <laughs> It's like Marty Gras. Very basic. Very basic, right? Well, you, you've been in New Orleans, right? Do you think I this have. embodies what you no. saw in New Orleans? No. Not even close. No. I mean, the, o- like- the only thing maybe is like the stripes around like where the neckline is. Mm. You know, maybe oh. those are kind of like Mardi Gras beads. Maybe. Oh, yeah. they should have made a the Mardi Gras Well, they're, they're, beads, they're, they're literally saying that it is Mardi Gras, that but ain't like, shit. come on, man. You can go further. Yeah. Just, I feel like New Orleans, you got cursive. At yeah, least, yeah, yeah, like some, some voodoo shit. Do some voodoo references. Yeah, they fucked up. They should have just yeah. put hurricane. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Katrina. They should be the newer the no, New Orleans. The drink. The drink. Oh, the drink. oh. oh god. Damn. I was gonna say there should be Shoot. the New Orleans Snoopies because the they drink. always on top of their house. <laughs> god damn. You thought I meant the store. <laughs> hey guys, up. I was okay. So a little bit a little bit about me. I lived in Dallas and when I was in Dallas, I went through that. So that's the first thing that went through my head. That all these kids from Monroe, you know, Baton Rouge, New Orleans moved to Dallas. Shout out to y'all, man. So sorry about that. My bad. Yeah. Not Hurricane the Katrina. Drink. Yeah, no, we have we have a homie from Louisiana in our group chat, and his uh, his nickname is Snoopy. Oh yeah. In the in the group chat, Snoopy? like his name, yeah, because he's always on top of his house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we found our clip. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> number two. <laughs> God damn it, <laughs> bro! Only thing I got. I remember, I remember from New. From Wait, is the group. I really call of that? Or yeah, you just no, made that up? No, right? that's his name. That's wow. his name in the group chat. God yeah, so they should be the New Orleans Snoopies. Shout out Snoopy. <laughs> <laughs> number twelve is your team. Yeah, so this is, I guess, um, just the script of what it like the 70s or the 60s i don't know this doesn't to me it doesn't really register anything other than just i'm trying to play on the the script and the the font yeah i'm not, it's, a, not really. uh, it's it's not like terrible but they've worn things very similar to that as of <sighs> late yeah and i just i feel like if you're gonna go with this whole new idea of the city jerseys where there's a new design every year do a new design every year Man, Dallas, let me be the designer. I would put some Pegasus shit in there because mm -hmm. in Dallas there's a Pegasus building or maybe like Reunion T Tower. This just looks so basic. I feel like y'all phoned it in on this one. Yeah. I'm going to need what did they? Better. Let's see what they said yeah, uh, explains this. I thought it was a map of the monorail at the airport. <laughs> I could. Oh. Dallas, man, I played to the Metroplex. The name... Uh, okay. That's just Hype for like the, 70s. The throwback design. Okay. Groovy. Font. Groovy. Yeah. Okay. Said, y'all forget about that JFK shit. Come, <laughs> come over here. We got killers. <laughs> we got Minnesota killers. Timberwolves, the people who steal everything from the Nuggets, stole the GM, stole the players, and now they're stealing the rainbow design yeah, essentially from this? the Nuggets. I think that Tim Connolly had a hand in this. Um, Damn. I just... I don't get it. I guess we'll have to read what uh what it's all yeah, about. Yeah, let's read what I, they're <laughs> trying to say because it doesn't really mean to me. This means nothing to me. Yeah, let's. And let's, I lived in Minnesota for a little bit. Like really? This, yeah, I lived there for a year, and I lived in uh, Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Shout out to Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Went to kindergarten jersey there. Jersey is that no jersey will be the same team. Opted for a simple white backdrop. There's literally nothing. There's nothing that explains. Fuck out of it here. It doesn't explain Minnesota at all. The design is simple, but definitely piques one's interest. It's it's literally just the ripping off the nuggets. Just, <laughs> just, just take the damn. Sentence. I don't know, man. Take the next. damn rainbow. Yeah, next. Fuck, fuck that. Yeah, Rudy Gobert doesn't looks even, terrible. Yeah, we don't need Milwaukee, to. Milwaukee, we've seen this pretty much, I feel like. It's I just everything, the same thing, just bring. Boom. Bring back Cream City, baby. Cream City. Cream City was your best jersey. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's move on. That's, that's I don't care. That's it's whack. just a blue jersey for that people. That sucks listening. too. What is yeah, this? Los Angeles also sucks. This looks it's like a bruise. A white purple jersey. and black. I feel like LeBron's gonna look kind of chubby in this. Yeah, I don't like it. It's not gonna look good. Um Washington Wizards. Bro, come on. What the fuck is this? do they have flowers like, on the side? Let's let's read. So it's just a red Washington jersey. Like just imagine oh. any Washington jersey that you've ever seen. Cherry blossoms. On Cherry the side. blossoms. Oh. Good job. Yeah. You could go really further with that. Like anime drift car cherry blossom design. Yeah. Through like the side or something. Like through I look way better. I don't know. Maybe they just lay like they don't they don't want to spend too much on designing it. It's just some intern. <laughs> doing it on Canva. Yeah, he's just doing it on a Canva. <laughs> Template. I just like making the Denver Thuggets <laughs> design. <laughs> New York Knicks. Oh, oh wow, New York. Do they not have no a sponsor? sponsor? They probably paid the franchise probably paid more to have not no sponsor in this. Huh? Yeah, that's crazy. New York City is their only sponsor. They're sponsored by the city. 
Yeah, I mean, it's just a regular New York jersey, uh, regular colors, black. Yeah, that's yeah. about it. No, nah, I'm not I think it's that. like, yeah, I don't know what it's... Kith. Oh, it's a collaboration with Kith, oh, so I guess okay. that's cool, but like, again, I don't know. Kith should have taken it further. They should have even put their logo on it as a yeah, fucking they sh- brand. They should have put be Kith cool. on there. You sell some. Yeah, let's go next one. Toronto, I just, I'm so tired of these OVO jerseys. The gold and black? Yeah. It's just another OVO gold and black. I don't know. There's looks like there's like some patterns and designs in black and gray, but yeah, I we'll don't see really, what they explain that. I like the colors, but it's like, I don't know. Like Drake. you said, it's, it's Drizzy. Drake. <laughs> Yeah, 21. Fred, Van Vliet, Fred Van Vliet, just Drake out there on the floor wearing the wearing the OVO, wearing the jersey. He's like, "This is what I'd look like." Boston Celtics. This looks uh, like this looks like the first jersey. It looks like Detroit. Yeah, no? I, I mean, it's uh, the Celtics rarely go for anything that varies at all. I'm glad they yeah came they, out of the shell. They a did bit. something different. Yeah, it's, at least. it's a different, different green guys. Font. It's a different it's green. There's green. like and there's like a uh, goldish kind of color a little tint and and black so what did they say about I think this one yeah let's see what they what they explain this one bill russell championships, championships of gold, gold. Okay. okay yeah all right all yeah, right they're going for bill shout out for bi- shout out bill shout out bill Big rest bill. in peace yep pacers pacers indiana oh, oh bro what is the that's a chain Right? Yeah, yeah it's a, it's kind of. Stomach. Uh, is it, oh, I'm wondering if they're like referencing like a racetrack in a oh, way. Oh, like because I mean that's what Indiana is known for, like that and corn, right? Or no, that's not. Or is no, it that's Idaho. What is Idaho is potatoes. Oh my god! I'm and then so... Iowa is corn. So nothing. And Nebraska. Um, yeah, Nebraska. But yeah, the Pacers are just they just race. Local landmark. Local landmark. Uh, Fieldhouse. I think that that is. Oh, no. I don't know. Yeah, I don't get that one. That's fucking stupid. Sacramento. Too bad nobody will ever see this jersey. What do you think about this one? Nobody's ever watching them. It's basic as hell. Yeah. But look, I don't know what the sides are doing, but it's kind of trying to provide like the hourglass look for yeah. the people wearing Everybody it. looking like Kim K. Maybe. <laughs> um, we got, thick, we got thick DeMontis Sabonis out here looking like Khloe Kardashian yeah. after her surgeries. <laughs> they got the hourglass on them. That's weird. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Let's see what they say. Let's hear them out. See what they have to say about it. Um, gray uniform. So the there's nothing to say. Okay, not exactly it's great. shadowing. Yeah, yeah. Let's ten let's, year anniversary. Ten the years. They're only to been stay. no, no, no. That of the decision sense. to stay. Oh, oh, okay. okay. The design is not exactly earth shattering. Yeah, that's one yeah. way to put it. No, it's not. <laughs> I've only been. But damn, your dog. I think your dog's stuck in there. Hey, man. no, hey. she's, Come she's on, digging. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, your face. <laughs> Sorry guys, she's been uh, Houston Rockets. This is like I don't know. They've done it before, and they've done it before. The only is difference fine. is the gradient, right, with the blue, the blue tips right there. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm giving this one a three, three out of four, five, no, five. Three looks, out of ten. It looks yeah. like a bunch of rockets launching, though. Yeah, yeah they I could guess. have done something like that. It's a little bit more obvious. That's, it would what have been it, cool. that's what it looks to me. Let's see. Let's see what they have to say about it. I know it's just like a throwback to the '90s and whatever, but um, a little wonky. They're a little wonky. Yeah, I mean, you can see they're kind of offset. They're not like straight. I want Sneep to describe the next one. Okay. <laughs> Fuck the sun. Fuck there the sun. You go. <laughs> what is this? Oh, look, guys. Hey, their team name is the sun, so they made the basketball look like a sun. Yep. What are those cool. colors? Some fucking cool. Hotep meme? Look at that <laughs> shit. They got the Hotep. Co- they're trying to pry. They're trying yeah. to pander. Yeah. I, I don't mind it as much. I mean, they're trying to be different, which I appreciate more than some of the others. But yeah, I just just put your logo on there. Yeah. Okay. 
At least it's not letters, I guess. Let's I mean, see what they say, though. Maybe yeah. there's if there's a dope meaning to it. Uh, oh, it's for the people on the res. I knew it was going to be something for the res That's kind of dope, people. though. That's kind of dope. Yeah, shout out to the people, the people on the res. The people on the res don't get no love. Yeah, they they out. don't get any NBA action Damn. except for the sun. So. Shout out my dog, Little Bear. Oh, yep. Yep. Shout out. <laughs> Sitting bull. S- Sitting duck. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, First okay. Nations. First Nations. Stand up. Orlando. Bro. What? What are this you? This is so what? awful. It's so. It's the regular jersey. It's yeah. a normal jersey. <laughs> the font is different. Yeah. The font it's is the like black. Okay. Oh, no. Disney logo. Disney logo is the hardest thing they got going. Yeah. They are sponsored. Villain jersey. Okay. Nuggets. Okay. Now. Not my favorite, but I like it. I like how it is a throwback that the Nuggets. Oh, that the Nuggets haven't done yet with the red outline on the lettering and and really heavy use of the red. Recently, they've been bringing the red back, but yeah. not like this much. So I think it's cool. I've, I'm getting a little tired of them trying to remix the rainbow in in every fucking jersey and just never getting back to that point that it was in the 90s. So I'm glad they went a different direction and just gave us this. But yeah, it's not... The best one here. Is but that the same not f- font either. that y'all have right now? No. No, it's different. It's different font. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Getting better. Yeah. Yeah, the Union Station, whatever. Okay. I I think this is the best one. Yeah. They've done another thing that was like the same though. Yeah. It's the same like designer, same collaboration. A little different. But it yeah. is cool. It is cool because it's a font. What, what do you yeah. think, Sneeb? I like it. Yeah. It's fucking, it's, it's, it's cool, man. Nets, I don't man. know. It's like, it's, I don't know, like graffiti. It's your favorite team. It's kind of, yeah, it's my favorite team. You yeah. should get one of these jerseys. Kind of like graffiti. You should get a Ben Simmons Brooklyn Nets jersey. Ben Simmons? Yeah. Yeah, so this is by Basquiat, right? That font, that type of look is by Basquiat. So yeah. if you know Basquiat, this definitely um, checks out. I want to yeah. know what the, the like yellow line and the blue line is for. I think it's like lines on the basketball court, isn't it? I don't know. Are they? I think it's like the top of the key and then like oh, that's yeah. a hoop or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And the net is in between you. Yeah, nice. Um, that's okay. pretty good, man. I like it. Yeah. This The clit! <laughs> <laughs> Big clit energy. I know Kelly Oubre loved these jerseys. Why? Uh, he's just a fuck boy. <laughs> he's reminded by what the word he's like oh yeah i got it yeah i'm i can clear. find this jersey <laughs> unlike some of y'all yeah i don't know where it is yeah i mean so clt is what it says on there that's why we say clit yeah and i mean someone had to have like known that this might have been like a bad idea yeah someone it just didn't cross it well maybe it probably did right it crossed people's mind they're like no, surely, you know, people won't take it that way. I mean, one of the pinstripes turns into an I. <laughs> like, one of the pinstripes <laughs> is perfectly between the L and the T. Yeah. And an edge of the T kind of looks, like looks like an I. If they thought that this clit. wouldn't, ca- we wouldn't catch on to this, they've never heard of us. Because this is clearly says clit. Yeah. They might CLT. Well just put the fucking bean right across the top. Of it. <laughs> Double down. They should have just went in. Flicking the bean. <laughs> That's the new low. It's a new slogan. It's head tie on the in the front. <laughs> <laughs> what did what did that? Let's hear their explanation. Let's right, hear let's them out see. here. The city word marks is also CLT, the ah, airport abbreviation. Okay, we're flying to the clit. Flying to the clit. The <laughs> city word mark. Okay. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. It just doesn't. I don't. Doesn't do it for me. Now they ranked Miami very low. I think it's probably because like they've done similar things before. I don't know, but I think it's dope. It's a combination of all their like previous city jerseys, essentially, where they like combine the letters from each one. This is. Do you know? uh, You you were big in the shoes. This was like uh, not the that one style. The what not like the why not? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it called? You you know where it's like a bunch. It's like the. All these weird designs on one. It's like I think the it was the why not. not. The why not. Or some I think sh- so. Yeah, something like that. Sneakers, ha- sneakerheads would know. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. It's sad day. When, okay, so they're like, uh, no, I didn't like the Vice City uniforms that much compared. I think that's better. Yeah. 
I think that's cooler. I think it's cool. Oh, they got the black version they too. Got black too. I like yeah. the black version. Yeah. Looks dope. I would wear that. Whereas this was my least favorite one. This is still better than the first one, though, in my opinion. No? I mean, I guess. Yeah, it's like better than Detroit. I guess you could say that. Yeah. Um, but it's pointless that they tuck this jersey in and it's just the whole aspect of art artistic value goes away yeah they should have moved the rose up if they knew they were going to tuck it in or yeah and maybe there's an explanation for the rose but i thought that this shit was just kind of ugly yeah okay it's for all the people that are going to buy it yeah people are going to buy it aren't going to tuck it in yeah true unless you're a real hooper and you just full kit wanker out there with the (laughs) the shoes the the shorts and the jersey full kit wanker (laughs) Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. So out of all of these guys, where what would be maybe your top one? I think I y'all heard me say I like the Brooklyn one. What about y'all? Uh, I have Miami one. Okay. And then if I were to go to a number two, I'd probably put uh, Philadelphia. Philly. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Sneed? Actually, the Spurs. 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 Sh- you like Spurs. Spurs are good. I'm going Charlotte. Click. Yeah. <laughs> Represent. Gotta. Big click guy. Gotta. <laughs> Gotta. Right. Um, I do like the Nets one. I like, I like the, the I, if they made it in black, which that was the last one, I think I'd like that more. The Nets? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like an inverted. Like if it was yeah. just inverted Inverse. color, I think I'd like it better. Okay. I think, um, I th- yeah. And then the, the other one was Miami. I really like Miami. Miami. Yeah. I thought that was like the most... So yeah, I think it's yeah. fun. You gotta be fun, man. The font is good because it's like so many different fonts. But yeah, man, I the majority the the consensus is maybe they need to do better next year. Yeah, I think that fans like fans literally want crazy designs. Yeah. They want you to go. What's the dog, what the dog doing? Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, they they want something to talk about. Okay. Yeah. This is just everything. This was just literally no if I got on Canva and just made things differently. Um. So next year NBA, uh, if y'all are gonna do a city edition, I would definitely maybe check in with the Gather Step Podcast. We're yeah. At Gather we'll Step give you Podcast. some help, man. We'll give you, you know, tips. Like Charlotte, like bro, we could have done like handcuffs. We could have put handcuffs on your jersey. Uh. Mm-hmm. Spurs could have been like just, just primo. You could just, yeah, you could just have like a dick print, like yep. extreme silhouette. Li- just yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, exactly. LeBron and, just or Los Angeles, the city of lies. Oh, you that's, know that's a great we, one. We, we could have done that. City of lies. Atlanta is just cheeks in the front. Yeah, no, of Magic yeah, City. like boo. <laughs> <laughs> Big ass. Just straight. It'll just be like a stripper, like yeah. yeah what do you call them? What else? Utah. Utah will do like we'll do uh, soaking, <laughs> soaking city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You we guys just... do that there, right? <laughs> Y'all started that shit. Yeah. Fucking weird. We'll go like um, a guy looking in his hat because that's how the Mormon religion is found. <laughs> <laughs> New Orleans, we're putting Snoopy. Yeah, because he yeah top of, the house. top of the house. Let's just yeah. we'll have the house and everything and like water. <laughs> oh, New Orleans! Oh. What oh. happened? <laughs> uh, just kidding. All right, uh, so I, this yeah. is this is pretty um, mid. Let's just say that. Yeah, I it's think that the, the for the majority, it's just like, man, what are you, what are y'all thinking? Yeah. Okay. But I'm not a designer, I guess. But um, you probably do better. Okay. What else we wanted to get into is. Like we've been talking about how much LeBron lies. God damn. And he's he's back at it again. He uh he basically let's see, which one is this? Is this the right one? This is uh This is the Godfather. Godfather. Oh, okay. Yeah, so before we get into his newest lie, we want to talk about like his lies that we didn't talk about before. And this is one of them that's like very apparent. Uh yeah, we'll just play it. It is a question uh, not related to the game, but since it has been a lot of publicity yesterday and today about Godfather Part Two, <laughs> which is the the scene or or the moment or the phrase or the quote you like more from the movie? Oh, from the Godfather. Uh, um, it's. So many different phrases. <laughs> this is go-to. So many different lines in that movie to just uh, 
It's just too great. Categorize one. Um, but which is the one? Which, <laughs> like how he's pressing it. <laughs> represent you more. I mean, each movie is nine hours long. I mean, what do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> uh. He just picks like one that has like the N word in it or something. <laughs> He's like, yeah, it's a great quote. Yo, so first off, the the interviewer, man, that dude was yeah, straight gangster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it's coming from the deli. Yeah, he's the delicatessen. <laughs> yeah, wow, that was crazy. Um well LeBron, bro, that's he's the master, not even the master, but he will deflect anything. He did that exact same like approach with the Malcolm X book. Yeah. Where he's like, man, it's just too much. Fucking lie. You know, it's too much stuff. Too much stuff for my brain to process. <laughs> smart, smart man. <laughs> he's a very smart man. Yeah, that's freaking whack. But yeah, I don't. The the guy, like, bro, just pick out, like, you could literally just say, oh, you don't even have the. You can't even call me the godfather. Not even. Everyone you, knows. Like, making him offer he can't refuse. Yeah, yeah make him offer. Just say, like, that. literally. That's, just yeah, say that's that. what. That's why I told my girlfriend too. I was like, just say literally that, or like, you come here on my daughter's wedding. Yeah, that's it, and you got it. But yeah, he's a uh, lying his ass because he was like, he was like, yeah, I watched it six times. So you're, you're saying it's nine hours long, but you watched it six times. And you can't think of one thing. Nothing, man. That's a lot of dedication in your time. Drew a blank. Just lying his ass off. He watches off. The Godfather six times. That's would, the least believable part. Yeah. And he's, did he say, I don't even know if he watched a trilogy three times, but that would also be insane because the third one. It's a lot. What a fucking I fraud, get, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking la fraud. La fraud, bro. La liar. La, la liar. La liar, la liar, la bitch, James. La bitch, la shit. All right, let's see. Yeah, this, this one. is the newest one where he, because RIP takeoff. RIP uh, takeoff. LeBron take is off. saying some shit about that. Let's see. Someone that would have been here with a Laker jacket on courtside at the game. So just wanted to get your thoughts on what he meant to the culture and what he means to you too as well. Um. Uh, I mean, for me, I, <laughs> oh. I've been listening to those guys for so long. I was listening to those guys when I my first year with the Heat in 2010. Liar. And you can ask any one of my teammates back then. They had no idea who the Migos was. Cap. They were like cursing me out when I would play it throughout the weight room. Oh, yeah. Play it throughout the locker room. I was like, I'm telling you, these guys are next. I'm letting you know right now these days, like, turn this off. I might want to hear this. Um, okay, that's probably. We got the gist of it. This. So Amigos didn't release their first uh, mixtape in 2000 until 2011. They didn't have their first commercial release until 2013. And he's like, yeah, 2010 Miami Heat. I mean, you could ask my teammates. They were annoyed because they didn't like the Migos. Nah, Who didn't were... like the Migos? Like when they first came, they were like, I think every NBA player probably liked the Migos, except like Jokic or like foreigners. And it's so... Turn Why it off. are you sitting up there lying on, on a, a dead, dead man, man, dog? For real. Wearing his fit. Because that's what he wore. That's what Takeoff wore. So you're paying homage. That's what you're wearing. Same thing. Oh, he's such a cornball. And so dog. why are you lying, bro? It's not enough for you to just say, I'll fuck with the Migos or I yeah. really like the Migos, man. You know? Uh, bro, he off. has no shame. Like this, and then even like I just want to bring this. It's not nothing to do with lying, but like he had a press conference and it was about Kyrie. He's like talking about Kyrie, yeah. and then he was like disowning Kyrie almost. And he's like, "Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with, with it." Like, bro, yeah. that's your brother. Like, you all won a championship together, and you couldn't just say, "Man, I, you know, he made a mistake," and you know, I, I don't. You know, condone that behavior, but I still love him. No, it's like, oh, no, fuck that guy. He left him out, out high and dry, man. It's crazy. So let's just so let's just do a little role play real quick. I'll be Savannah, all right? And you ask me, or I'm gonna ask you where you been, okay? And you <laughs> and you try to you try to act like LeBron and try to okay. um let's just play it out. Okay. Um, hey hun, uh why are you home at 4 a.m.? Well, you know, it's actually crazy because there's just so much that just went on tonight. And I just, I, you know, I can't really pick where, out a specific but where, where time were and place you? that I was at. Your you practice know, gets just, out of I, 10. I was literally just, you know, all over the place. And, you know, you could just pick one reason. I'll roll with it. Um, 
So are you cheating on me, LeBron? No, no, honey, I'd never cheat on my black queen. No. <laughs> Let I'm me smell your dick. I'm, I'm just a kid from Akron. <laughs> That's how it would go. Live for greatness. <laughs> That's how it would go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, to go. <laughs> we try some new shit out, y'all. We're doing it for y'all. All right, You're let right? me smell your dick. <laughs> yeah, shout out, baby boy. Me and my girl watching that shit. All right, next. Oh, oh, oh I forgot about what? this. Yeah, we have a uh, another another thing, thing that we've we've <laughs> we've talked about, and that we've used this exact same kind of joke. Yeah, uh, two weeks ago. Yeah, and now we got Twenty One Savage uh, stealing. The vibes and the vibes. he's he's on here. He's reacting to a picture of Trainwreck TV, which is a Twitch streamer, and he's with that Twitch streamer. I don't know his name. Kai Sinat. Yeah, and uh, he's saying here we'll just pull. Let's we'll play just it. play the video. That food does not know. He spelled him boba. <laughs> <laughs> boba. <laughs> <laughs> with the ears, yeah. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. Yeah, right. Anybody watch? Wait, he said. Okay, he said twenty-one thousand. He said. Yeah. He so basically. Wait. Okay. Wait. Basically, uh, we put you put Boban yeah. in your list of the ugliest or scariest looking uh, NBA players. Yeah, man. We say he's ugly as hell. Here's twenty-one Savage uh, saying he's ugly as hell. Maybe it's just I think he's ugly as hell. But he like, is ugly as hell. But I think maybe me and twenty-one got like a. You know, maybe we need to kick it, dog. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Hit me up. I'm in Aurora. You'll feel you fit right in, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just wait 30 minutes and yeah, you just listen yeah. outside. You, hear, you feel right in, dog. What's yeah. up, 21? Yeah, I mean, it's so I mean, Bobot is ugly as fuck, but it's just funny how you know this is another thing that we we said this before, guys. Yeah. So if you want to know the 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 popular what's popular right now. Just got to tune in the GSP man. Twenty one got a got a surprising bag of knowledge there, knowing who Boban Marjanovic is. Too. Yeah, I That's, thought he was just a big was, dumbass. Yeah, that was surprising. Yeah. Um. But yeah, with the jerseys and all, we gotta talk about what the players are wearing off the court. Ooh, right. That's a good one. So we're gonna we we picked out. There's so many bad NBA fits. There's so many goofy ones. Uh, we're picking out like the most goofy ones essentially. Goofy. Uh, that we could that we that we wanted to show. Um so we each got our own little things going on here. Uh we'll start with you, Gene. All right, so let's start with uh Shea Gilgis. Alexander and Bake brought this up. This is him modeling, and yeah, I get he's it. Modeling. This isn't his thing. It's not him going into his closet and throwing something on. He was told to wear this, but bro. He is showing thigh. He's like wearing a jock. Th- he's wearing, he's showing groin. He's showing groin, wearing a jock. God knows what's behind. <laughs> it could be a straight up thong, <laughs> which is fine if that's what you, is, that's cool, bro. But then the anchor on the face, I don't know, man. I'm just not into high fashion like yeah, that. Yeah, it just gets know. really weird eventually. I don't know about this one. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, I think Shea is one of the best dressers in the league, honestly, like with the streetwear he does. You know he he wears stuff nicely, so I'm not gonna hate on Shay. Yeah, even though because I mean he's just doing work, he's just yeah. making some money. This next guy though, I will willingly hate on. What's up? All right, so what the fuck is this? <laughs> Yo, you yeah. need to go to the Taylors, Coos, and fuck you, Coos, because you were talking Matt <laughs> yesterday. You had 36 on the Mavericks, man. We weren't even really it, Christian Wood was out, so that's why. But yeah, so Kuzma's wearing a pink. Uh, cardi- not cardigan, like a uh, a wired fisherman sweater, but it's pink, and the sleeves are probably like two times as long as it should be. Kuzma has six million fucking terrible fit picks. He's uh, like the ultimate, like I don't know. He's just like a that light. He's like a light skin yeah, with like fucking too much confidence. Yeah, that, someone needs to humble this man. Yeah, someone needs to check you, bro. Like, yeah, you need Kevin Garnett in the locker room. Yeah, or some shit, to bro. call you the f word. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he do wholeheartedly <laughs> that is literally like or you, even the second ant. you pull up with some short shorts yeah but hell no <laughs> yo blood no fuck go change what did he remember he's he was 
what did he say all fucking stupid? There was like a word that showed up on the teleprompter like that he's supposed to read off. I don't even and know. Bro, it was so funny. I can't he remember what it was. He butchered it? Yeah, it was, like, it was like miscellaneous or something. It was like miscellaneous. <laughs> it was like miscellaneous. <laughs> I can't remember what fucking word it was. Though, yeah, KG yeah. would fucking check who's yeah. next. He's definitely homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean we're not speaking of hope <laughs> I was gonna say that but <laughs> we got I mean you know Rodman a lot of people would say Rodman was ahead of his time man, yeah but, man he was this uh, is the- you know uh, a lot of people wear dresses now and that's cool whatever you think fashion mm-hmm. is but the wedding dress is, is a tough it's a, look it's a legendary one it's a legendary one and maybe Definitely that's what changed. it is and maybe that's what fashion is man you know fashion is art it's, it's you know creating new waves it's new waves Sneep what do you think about this one this is a good look for some people it's a great look yeah I mean it's, I, it's look it's at his good. teeth he kind of like Mary J Blige you know he looked beautiful it's quite the wig yeah, expensive. Yeah, expensive. no, I think it's quality. Quality. That yeah, wedding dress good. is not like something that you would get like off fucking Route Twenty One or I don't know, like this little Gen X. This is high quality. Yeah, no, he couture. Said, he, he said was, yes to that dress. He was he a said, crazy guy. <laughs> He's out here with like. He said yes to that dress. He said yes to that dress. So okay. He, went. he was like real good friends with like the people that ran Von Dutch. Yeah, and shit too. that's true. So you know, like he was like a real, real fashion icon. Dude, have y'all seen the Rodman uh, Big Bang and Pinyang or some shit like that where he goes to North Korea? Then it's I like, didn't watch it. No. Dude, it's pretty. I was watching some of it yesterday. I don't know. But I watched a documentary about him. He's like, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Almost did the suicide. Oh, oh here's this one. one. This is a bonus one that I found. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead and explain. He's got Steve. like the, the waist. Yeah. Jewelry so he's got too. a sparkly like tank top on. Yep. Red hair matches the carpet. The crop top too matches the carpet. If you notice, the yeah, it is a crop top. Matches the carpet. It looks like <laughs> he's not nude, guys. That are on Spotify. <laughs> he has pants on. I but mean, I the red carpet. Does. I bet it does. But <laughs> you know, he I, might. I, though. I, he would. Yeah, he, he would. Might, bro, he would, would he, he would. not? Yeah, he for might. Sure. He might. He would. The pants. I don't rainbow. know what's going on with the pants. I don't. I can't tell. Leopard. Is that a belt? Follow the rainbow, girl. <laughs> is that a belt? That's a bedazzle. Uh, oh, that's like what Britney Spears used to wear, yeah, right? Like, like over the, her little navel or under her navel. Oh yeah, mm. the little friggin' like diamond thing. Look, look at that. Yeah, yeah. he's I weird mean, as he's hell. Just a crossdresser for sure. <laughs> it's just his thing. It lasts for me, but not least is Chris Kamen, man. Yeah, oh, go ahead, bro. What what yeah. do you what do you think this 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 wh- is me in 2013 <laughs> or some shit? Just if I got my hands on some cowboy boots. So he got some a Nike regular Nike shirt, all right, yep. and some brown brown shirt, and then he got regular orange, basketball shorts, orange shorts, big orange ones. shorts, and boots and boots. Hey, whatever, man. I don't know how you even found that picture. Yeah, I just uh, looked up Chris Kamen. Ah, that's like from so his you were targeting him. Yeah, I targeted one of our uglies from the last or our scary looking players and yeah. just went with that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because you know, if you can't take care of yourself, how are you gonna dress good, right? Facts, man. Okay, same boat. Um, I'm gonna go. You know, Russell Westbrook has a billion, just like Kuz probably does, but. This one, uh, just strange. Uh, the pleated, the kilt. It, you know, even more than kilt. the kilt it's going kilt, on, yeah. it's the the sweater. It's the confidence, it's like yeah, <laughs> and the blue hair. Like he's just got, he's got a hell of confidence, and he just kind of wears whatever he wants. But he wears it in like name a high fashion. Yeah, and I just imagine like him getting into the locker room and having to take all this bullshit off. To put on a jersey and shorts, and then Can have him take that, that off, and then put on a fucking kilt after your basketball game. Can you imagine Westbrook bending over and taking off that skirt in front yeah. of all those dudes? <laughs> imagine if KG it's a was show. In, let's put <laughs> Hell KG. no, yo, blood, <laughs> don't fuck on. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Oh, Sneeb, what do you think? I mean, uh, yeah, go ahead. Give me your unfiltered. He's just, uh, he's just a, a weird pirate. <laughs> <laughs> just a weird pirate. Someone that missed the memo. <laughs> I don't, I don't yeah. know. He or he's like, this is, this is all his. This is all his mom like had in the closet, and he and he wanted to be a pirate for Halloween. <laughs> yeah, and then <laughs> I fuck with the docs. I don't know if those are Doc Martens. I like those. Yeah, boots. I you don't Doc, like those? I hate Doc Martens. I like them. 
I like him. Um, number two, I got the classic Tracy McGrady. T Mac. Uh, PBS. All time great uh, suit he's got going on. Uh, it's the big the big ass suit. Oh, there we go. There we go. God, <laughs> motherfucker, six nine, looking five four. Damn, boy. covering his whole feet. He looked like he got stubble. socks on. <laughs> Fucking took that shit out Steve Harvey's closet, looking ass boy. That's crazy, dog. Why? <laughs> what year was that? Oh my God, who's this? Yeah, so it reminds Kyrie's me of Kyrie's Ops. It, it reminds me of Nathan. Yeah, he is a Jew. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, Nathan Fielder in this episode where he's for Nathan for you. But yeah, just like the he oh. has like a wrong person's luggage and <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, yeah. same. But yeah, that is little pants, man. It's just like damn, T Mac. <laughs> it's like when Jimmy Fallon wore Shaq's suit. Yeah, not not good, not good. All right, let's see. Uh, I got so number three. I got Kevin Knox, and it's not necessarily uh, you know like out of pocket, like from the outside. Mm. But you open the suit jacket, Why? and he's got Fortnite and his gamer tag For on boy? draft night. Oh my god, he got, like he got he if, got a bag. If this wasn't a sign that he is gonna be a fucking bust, I don't know what is. Because I was hoping the Nuggets might be able to snag him uh, at. at 13, I think. The Who'd y'all get that we got Michael Porter Jr. Thank way fucking God. Because this guy, it, uh, Fortnite gamers, it hasn't been going well for y'all in the NBA. I'll be honest. We got Cat. Cat. Trash. Trash. Uh, I don't know. Kevin Knox. Trash. Kevin Knox. One and two right there. 50 50. No, but there's, there's definitely more. Chill out. That definitely. <laughs> see, Nova doesn't even like it. Yeah. She's growling at Kevin Knox. You see that? Damn. Look at her. You really don't oh, like Kevin Fuck your fit, bro. bitch. Look at She's her. staring at it. Doesn't she like said, it. Fuck she, Fortnite dog, here. So guys, on Spotify, my dog is re- literally looking at the screen and growling at Kevin Knox's fit. That's how atrocious <laughs> it is. So not just us three, but one more. Yeah. This, that shit was insane. Uh, next, I got CP3. Damn. Oh, he, she's ready for CB3's yeah. fit. Oh, like, oh <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Let, let him have it, girl. Yeah, let him have it. This dude look like he going oh, to a fucking bro. gothic funeral. It's like auntie. <laughs> yeah. Auntie pulling up. Okay, okay, okay. You got to relax. Yeah, yeah, so with this, I mean, I, there's a lot of stuff going on, but the little uh, Bill Cosby <laughs> looking sweater with the with the polo or the dress shirt underneath is I think the Arthur. What, what really puts it over top is the bag. And he's just carrying the bag. And he's got... I. Th- it's the combination of the oversized undershirt with, like, the short over, like, sweater. Dang, she is she not happy not. with this fucker. I don't know if you guys can hear Hey, she's with- saying fuck the yeah, suns. She's saying suck the funds. Yeah. Hey, Nova. Hey. Come here, Relax. Girl. You want to go over there? Yeah. yeah, so this fit, what do you think, Sneep, with the gloves, <laughs> that, too? That bag gloves, looks like the bag too. they give you on the airplane, or they yeah. used to, and they'd give you the little it's like toilet toilet yeah. bag. Yeah. That's what that is. Yeah, you're not yeah. high fashion, bro. Not you high fashion. Like he has never been a good dress good dresser. dresser. Nah. His best dress, his best fits were in the State Farm commercials. Yeah, we can go on the next one, which is, uh, I had to throw another Kuzma one in there. because yeah, like Kuz is... Uh, Kuz, Kuz, this, this one... This one's probably the most famous <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, I've seen that one. Or it's just like anything related to Kuzma. That's this is always going to be under the replies. It's just he's he's like cognitively dissonant. Oh man, she is not. She's she not don't like it. that one either. You think she's 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 saying fuck hey. the fit or just like because a guy is taking a full body selfie. That's yeah, kind of whack. Full body, probably selfie, full body yeah, selfie. Full body. Look, hey, she's she's barking. She's barking okay. at this one. She does not like this. <laughs> What's going on with her? Yeah, I don't know. There's some uh-huh. when Kuz pops up on hey. the screen. She's just here. Go to Jake. Hey, Nova girl, come here. Yeah, so Kuz, fuck oh. you. Come here, girl. Whoa, hit the head, hit the mic. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach her. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> All right, Steve. Let's see what you shout got out on. SBCA. So my first one is Steve Nash looking like Costco brand Bill Nye. Okay. Which is right here. <laughs> you do a v, though. Ah, He's got the Louis V, though. I don't got care. The Louis V. Look at that sweater. That, yeah, the that sweater. Bow tie. Bow tie, nah. bow tie is crazy, crazy choice. Nah. That's only, that's nah, something nah. only like 
only a white dude shows up to an NBA game in. Yeah, Whoa, dog. they're Charlie, big dog. Big boy. Yeah, man, this this one right here is uh um I think the biggest thing to say about this is Steve Nash is too skinny. I'm sorry, I don't want to body shame, but just the arms, everything just looks a little out of proportion. I feel like just because it's a little too tight. And uh I don't know. He just kind of looks like uh one of those guys that the candy stripers that sing. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? There's like uh He does look like he's 50s. about to he's about to bust out into <laughs> Big Girls <laughs> Don't Cry. <laughs> Big yeah, girls. and then the harmonization was like he's yeah. in an acapella group acapella, for sure. Yep. Uh, but yeah, he should be on Glee. He should be on Glee. Steve Nash. Um. All right, next. What's sorry, next sorry. The camera oh. cut out there for a oh, second. Wow. Oh, Charlie, you fat ass. Get it back, big boy Charlie. Man. Big boy Charles. Uh, you know, I know. You, we know we got my my boy James Harden, but mm, he's got was, plenty. This wasn't a good choice. This wasn't a good choice, <laughs> yeah, bro. Anytime you wear shorts, like in a, in a formal matter, yeah, nah, not, not good. good. Work, Which that, that's a theme. We're gonna notice. Yeah. There's a theme. There's a theme yeah. with my choices. Tr- Trey Young for sure. Um, this was on his short stint in Brooklyn. Yep. Wow. Look at Dan Tony. Yeah. He's like, uh, we we're not gonna win any. <laughs> <laughs> and like everyone else was looking at him, so us too. All right. Next. Um. You know. This is. This is my bonus one, but since we're on the topic of shorts in a formal setting. Is this the video of him walking out? Oh, <laughs> oh okay. yeah. this is what LeBron James looks like. That shit was so that, that was shit, a bad that, trend. That video of him, like when he the interview ends and he picks up his little briefcase and he's like walking out of the interview in his stupid little shorts. It's one of the best LeBron videos of all time. I, I, I like, don't like this. I don't like yeah, this. Yeah, no, it's a terrible, terrible but look. What I what, what I like what I hate even more is he, he's wearing a Canadian tuxedo. A Canadian tuxedo. What's that? That is where you wear entirely denim. denim. Oh, denim down. Denim uh, out. Being All from of it. being from Canada, Sneeb, how hurt do you feel about this? I'm hurt. That Jay Leno. Look. I'm hurt. I'm hurt, mm-hmm. man. Like this is it's our national attire. And what's you up sh- with the hat? Is that like hat, a thing that, that goes down? Horns. Oh, I don't know. It looks like an inside out like jean hat. Like it's a hat made out of denim, just mm. turned inside out, you know, like a rally cap style. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about when you used to do that? Yeah. That's strange. I mean, the yeah, that's that's giving Jay Leno vibes. For <laughs> sure. He has his gallon of water too, you yeah. know, the big gallon. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. He didn't oh, have a, he should have had a denim fucking mask though. <laughs> All right. So get this is, try to uh, give it to you. That is so true. This is Tyler, Tyler Harris. Will. Tyler Harrow, sorry. Hero. 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 I don't know how to say this shit. He's looking like he's trying to get with your girl. Yeah, that's that's his main purpose. Douche. What would you say if he Douche. if he was Douche. like trying to get at your girl though, Sneed? But how would you handle this man? Oh. Just take take his face and just be like, bah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> bah! Okay. <laughs> Curb stomp. Just smash it down. Smash it down. Just be like, shh, shh, shh. shh yeah. Shh. With the butterfly tattoo, the Mariah mm-hmm. Carey on the right leg. Or the Tyler left Hero. leg. Oh, remember when uh, Yo- when Jokic hit like Marquise Morris, right? Yeah. And Tyler Hero pretending like he was gonna get in the middle of that shit. He's like, "Hey, man!" And they like <laughs> got out of it immediately. You ain't gonna <laughs> yeah. do shit, boy. You ain't gonna do shit. Nah. Tyler Hero, whack ass cheater, no, cheating on that. your pregnant girl, cheating on your pregnant girlfriend. You're grimy, man. All right. uh, um, Serge Ibaka. Yeah, he's got a lot too. This he's a scarf. strange guy. He this strange. scarf. He's French, right? Uh, Congo? No, he's Congo. Oh, yeah. sorry. Look at he this scarf. That. Yeah, this scarf is insane. I had a that whole shit baby is in probably there. like twelve thousand. That almost too. looks like Photoshop, but it's not. It's not. Yeah. That's real. It's a real ass. That's scarf. a real scarf. You know, they should be like boxers. Remember, uh, it was Deontay Wilder. Yeah, he lost the fight, and he blamed what he was wearing into the ring because he said it was too heavy and it weared his body down. Really? I yep, imagine this, is this shit is heavy. That looks heavy as fuck. That's why Toronto, uh, Some, I know y'all won. <laughs> someone's <laughs> grandma was team. knitting. <laughs> yeah. and someone yeah. was a knitter for sure. Yep. Not me, though. I'm not a... I'm yeah, not a... I'm not saying it. <laughs> All right, here's one. Jordan Clarkson. Stupid ass zip off pants and Bro, a Red Wings a, jersey. Come he's on, got look. a lot. Okay. Yo, Avs, Red Wings. Hey, fuck the up. Red Wings. I'm, he's definitely got a lot. It's not because what? he's. It's not because he's half Filipino and I'm full Filipino. But I'm not gonna lie, y'all. This fit is 
Loki far, bro. Nah. No, it's better. It's better than a lot of the ones it's that he's had for sure. Well, what about on this list? I, if we were to make the best out of this whole of this list, list? yeah, okay, is this I'll number one? That. I'll give you I'll, that. I'll, okay, I think it's the most like normal. It's hip, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. what they're doing right Everybody's now. Everybody's wearing the baggy jeans. Yeah. Everybody's wearing baggy you know, zip off jeans. Ah, shit, yeah, it's just cargo, zip off cargo, cargo, like baggy cargo pants for sure. Like, I fuck with it. Look like Jabos to me, kind of with the mm-hmm. pockets in the front. He's got the know. chains. Yeah, I, I mean, and the it. hockey jersey, like. That Russell Westbrook, hard. Russell Westbrook, kind of brought that shit on too, because he wore that hockey jersey. Yeah, uh, the Brody, and then a bunch of people started wearing hockey jerseys too. Okay, but Jordan that's Clarkson, just the way I see he you, boy. On. Yeah, you got any more? Oh, that, that was that was the last was one. Okay. Okay. Next one. Next one I have is just uh, some NBA draft outfits. Let's look. Okay, let's that we could look. just look through real quick. There's definitely you know, a lot. Figure of out which ones are strange choices. And this is from Trae this Young. year, I think. Or no, oh, never. Rec- recent years. Hey, Paulo. Paulo Banquero. Look at that. Banquero. Dominican Republic. <laughs> that's a, <laughs> that's Dominican. a statement. I know black. <laughs> I know black. Statement. I Dominican. Dominican Republic. <laughs> so here, this one's from 96. <laughs> hey, papi. <laughs> Look at this guy. I know black. <laughs> Dominican. Baseball. LeBron James. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, was next, I, was, I was reading the next one, and then I saw Mario. I was like, damn. Who is this? Samaki Walker. Okay. Cream Samaki 96. Squash. Uh, LeBron. Yeah. Eh, that's nice. kind of what they it were wearing just, back bro, then. Bro, they were wearing suits. Suits. Big big suits. Five times the, big the size suits. of what they should be wearing. Fuck David. Oh, rest in peace. No. Fuck him. Rest in peace. <laughs> rest in peace. <laughs> Look, another Jaylen? suit. Too big. Hey, Jalen Rose. Hey, Jalen Rose, Jaylen man. Rose. His hairline oh, keeps coming bro. back every year, bro. Shout out Jalen Rose. Yeah. It's coming back stronger. Yeah, He's bro. like Benjamin Button with the hair. Yeah, backwards, man. It's it's kind of wild. he started out bald like all throughout. Yeah, then now Just his like hairline LeBron. is defined. I like Just this. Like I like the I like the tie. I, th- I like the pin stripes on the red jacket. I like this one. I fuck with This that. is a good one. I fuck yeah. This is a good one. I draft him. Yeah, I draft him. Drew Gooden, man, that dude. It's a, this one was crazy. <laughs> Not no, no button buttons. showing. No button. It's just humongous. Like they couldn't even fit like the whole thing in this in this picture. But like, yeah, that shit is, is humongous. This is like a Morpheus Neo look. Yeah, no fucking but buttons. With just a terrible color. Like if you're gonna go for that look, go for black. Yeah, the beige is. It's beige probably is bad. just a couple kids like stacked on top of each other. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's what it Make looks it like. Tall. <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah. that one looks okay. like. Kelly Oubre. I don't know. What's I, wrong with that? Yeah, is he I don't wearing know what's shorts wrong with this or one. something? Or? Yeah, I don't. Doesn't say. Bobo. Bobo's was fire, bro. This shit was sick. Oh, Spider Man. Yeah. It's got what the was spiders. that? What was the? What was behind all that? It was custom made. But look, hold on. Scroll down. There's a dick print. No homo. Just want to point it out to the left, right what there. What the fuck? <laughs> Can you? Can you command plus real quick? Whoa! Whoa! Damn, whoa, 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 okay. whoa! 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 That's uh. at least like, yeah. Command. Whoa! Oh, wait! 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 Soft? Yo, you might be the ugliest uh. basketball player, but damn, no homo. Uh, yeah, turn Dude the screen away. That's crazy. I think this one's pretty fire. Honestly. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Shay just always has come through with the looks to me. Yeah, that's but. fine. That's fine. Yeah, I think it's that cool. One's cool. It's, it's, it's I was I like if Trey Young's not on here, I don't know. You know about Darius this list? Garland? Oh my oh, god! Okay, this is like a karate, karate class. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's motherfucker! Wearing <laughs> He's wearing a gi. I feel like these these beige shoot suits just keep getting more and more lazy as the years got forward. Yeah, yeah. He just you got know? out of jits. Like no buttons on the last one. This one beige can't even it? be. Be closed up. It's a tough color, man. Does look like karate class. Yeah. For Tyrese sure. Halliburton. Oh, I think he wore. Yeah, he wore the floral. Uh, uh, I don't like okay. it. Well, floral mm. suit. Nikhil Mid. Alexander Walker. I mean, I fuck match. with the bolo tie I, though. You know. Yeah, I think that's cool. He should have went with a cowboy he's, hat. He's following his cousin's uh, fucking footsteps. You know. Wait, who's his cousin? SGA. Oh yeah. Yeah. Jalen Green, man, my guy. I got words for this guy. He got the lace. Kevin lace. Garnett would have words <laughs> with this guy. He got the Victoria's sure. Secret lace in <laughs> underneath. And he's got painted nails for show. My Filipino brother, man. Oh, he's not. But, but um, they fucked no up and didn't show the, They they fucked up and didn't show his bell bottoms because those are flares. Yeah, that, yeah that, that was a bad look. I don't <laughs> oh, like that it. Was lit. 
good, bro. No, bro, no? I fucking hate okay. that. I, fuck I think you it. you are biased just because he's yeah, Filipino. Yeah, of course. You know my culture. He, he probably doesn't even. Does he claim Filipino? Does he yeah, play he, for the Filipino? Yeah, he went back team? to the. No, he's not. Not yet. He okay. need to get his rocket shit will. right. Andrew Wiggins. I think this one's cool. I yeah, it's, it's fine. Like, yeah, it's okay. I don't know. I think wherever Trey Young is, that's automatically going to be the bottom. The bottom. Sprouts. No Trey Young. Damn, we're oh! looking. <laughs> oh, this is most memorable suits. Okay, that makes more sense because most memorable. Yeah, yeah, it's just a list of draft suits. Okay, okay. I like yeah. that. I like that. I was thinking they were saying it was bad. Uh, Bull Bulls is memorable for a reason. Yo, that print, man. <laughs> That's wild, bro. That's crazy that you saw that. Though. It was pointed, you pointed out on draft night. Oh, what? I remember on NBA Twitter, and I was like, "Damn!" So that pick that that suit's always kind of cursed crazy. me. But it is a cool suit. Dude had like a maybe like a semi chub. Yeah, he got drafted. He like, even then, really like even if it's hard, like goddamn, that's at least like, like fifteen. And and you're like, because just thinking about how long that section of his leg is, it was this dude is seven foot fucking four. This dude, what his shit went from like how you measure TVs is not like. Left to right, it was diagonal. Yeah. So it started from here and went diagonal to the other leg. Almost to his knee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could. Josh God Primo damn. definitely got. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, if, if they, that's what they're working with. Like, yeah, we are Josh maybe Primo's. Josh Primo got Maybe something. he got a case. <laughs> <laughs> Free Primo. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. We don't know yet. <laughs> to be determined. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think. I think we we got through pretty much everything. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? Nah. Um. Other than that, I think it's uh. It's fuck the suns. Fuck, fuck the, the suns. suns. Fuck the suns. Fuck the suns. Peace.